Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Um, so this is really exciting for me. This is my first trailer reaction. Uh, the World of Warcraft 8.2.5 uh, War Campaign cinematic just came out. This is the end cinematic um, for the War Campaign. I got my World of Warcraft shirt on uh, that I got from Loot Crate back when Loot Crate was still like a, a thing. Um, super, super excited for this. Uh, so without further ado... We're just going to jump right in. Go. There's the squad. Squad's rolling deep. Dude, Agrimar looks so fucking good. <clears throat> Verok. It's time. Look at Thrall. Look at all of those undead archers. These warriors have sworn to fight for you. Many lives will be lost. Or perhaps just one. Oh shit. Sylvanas Windrunner! I challenge Makora! 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 There she is. Looking like a punk bitch. I hate Sylvanas. Traitor leading traitors. Why should I accept your challenge? For honor. Make me suffer. You know, I'm going to pause it right here. You know what's really funny? Is you don't really get to see in game the fact that Sylvanas, Sylvanas' eyes actually have pupils to them. Because in game they're just red. They don't really, at least to my knowledge, they don't really show the fact that they're like normal eyes, except the pupils are red. Um, also, I really just like the detail on this. This is another undead rogue, I'm going to assume. But like, I just love the detail on the skulls, you know, and the runes. Very, very nice, even though I hate Sylvanas. Let's keep going. Cannot win, my old friend. You and I. We don't get to hide. Okay, so if <laughs> I know I'm pausing this, but this is stuff I wanted to talk about. So, I, preface everything. I watched this trailer at work a couple hours ago uh, when it came out, and obviously I couldn't make a video. So this is like my second time really watching it. This line, I am pretty sure this line is a callback to a couple cinematics ago. We got the cinematic with uh, where Sarfang goes off and finds Thrall. And, you know, Thrall's chilling. Um, I'm not entirely sure where he's chilling. I want to say it's not Duratar. I want to say it's, um, I don't know, Draenor. I don't know. I am don't know. But Thrall's out chilling and Sarfang rolls up. And I'm pretty sure Sarfang says that line to him. We don't get to hide. Correct me if I'm wrong uh, down in the comments, but we're going to keep going. We got a lot more of the cinematic to go. And when this model looks so good. And we knew where it could lead. Walk with me the rest of the way. And when's armor looks so good. There it is. This is such as fuck is badass. Zappy boy. Let it be finished. The 
High Overlord falls. Look at that. Look at them scars. I trusted you. No one trusted you. Death comes, old soldier. And all their hope dies with you. Man, she's got some nerve. Zappy boy, no. You cannot kill hope. You tried at Delgasil. You failed. Hope remains. Oh. You set us to kill each other at Lordaeron. Look at her smile. You failed. Uh oh. Here we stand. You just keep failing. The horde will endure. The horde always endures. Oh! Oh, I still love that. <laughs> okay, so when I first saw this, I thought it was funny just because you have this this one foot soldier, you know, sworn to serve the Dark Lady, right? You know, die for the Dark Lady. You know, probably was raised in Trisfall Glades or whatever. And and he just looks over and he's like, "The fuck did you just say?" Also, I love the I love the cut. I'm sorry, you guys can't see me. Point. I love this cut on her eye. I think it's like it's red. Oh, it just looks so good. With her eternal crying. You are all nothing. For Man. Again, I already saw this, but my first reaction to this was if what you could the see fuck. Yourselves as I see you. Toy soldiers in tin plate. Beasts who howl for honor. Standing as one. Savor it. Nothing lasts. So now she's a wraith, I guess? A de she looks like a Dementor. Maybe that's what happened. She sucks Sarfang's soul out of his body. What do we do now? We bring him home. You're gonna stop us? Oh, that close up of Thrall. Okay, so we're gonna rewind it just a little bit, just like that close up of Thrall. This is this, this part right here. I'm gonna I'm actually lowering the, the volume now so I can talk over this. This is like a height like this. This is right here. The scowl, the scowl on Anduin, Anduin's face. I really hope, um, because we all know that the leaks about uh you know eight point three. You know, 9.0, like, what's going to happen? You know, I hope that Anduin kills Sylvanas. Because now, it's not out of cold blood. It's not out of revenge. Like, it, it is, you know, it's revenge. But it's, like, honorable. Right? Like, you had everything that happened before the storm. Everything that happened with, um, you know, with, uh, what's her name? With Kalia. Now you have Sarfang. And like, look how pissed your boy is. And then we go forward. Zappy boy, who these markings I think he's had since the beginning of uh of Battle for Azeroth. And then you have you have Big Daddy Thrall in that crisp and crunchy Captain Crunch HD. Look at the beard. Look at look at the hair follicles on this man. This man's seen some shit. Um 
So there's a lot of speculation on who's going to lead the horde after this whole thing. And I honestly think if they continue with two separate factions, if they don't continue with just one, I think, I don't know if Thrall will lead the horde. I think if it's, it's either going to be Thrall or it's going to be, uh, Bane. I think it's one of the two. I, Zappy Boy's too young. I hope, you know, I don't think they're going to bring Vol'jin back. Um, I don't think Lothamar is going to, you know, as someone who's just started playing WoW and who plays a Blood Elf, Lothamar is very, he's a very, they're a very young addition to the, to the Horde. Like, yes, we've been fighting with them for years, but like, if you really think about it, if you take, if you take the, take the game's cadence, the expansion cadence, as the years that pass between expansions, the, the Blood Elves have only been a part of the Horde for like, what? uh let's see 14 years that's that's really really early for for them so i don't think lothamar is going to be uh is going to be the leader the the other scene that got me really really pumped is this scene right here hold on here we go we're gonna watch it back zappy boy is all sad here we go right here this part right here let me turn it up this monologue you failed. Hope remains. You now look, failed. look at this. Look at her smug smile. Like she thinks she's got the upper hand, which, you know, as players and viewers of the cinematic, we don't know she's got these dark powers. And he's just like, he's just laying it on her. Kill each other at Lordaeron. You failed. She that, that right. Oh yeah, it's the last time I'm going to pause. Lordaeron. Let me watch it. Ready? Ready? Boom. That scowl. This scowl is when she's like, it's the wheels in her head are turning. Because he's like, you, bur you burned Teldrassil to the ground. You committed a major war crime. And the Alliance still held hope. You pitted us against them in Lordaeron. And here we are, united, to come and kill you. Here we stand. You just keep failing. The Horde will endure. Yes. Here it is. Ba boom. The horde is nothing. And a lot of people saw that coming. A lot, a lot of people saw that coming. I texted my one friend this clip, and his first response after he watched it was, "I knew Sylvanas will betray the horde." Now, my fiance. For those of you who know, she doesn't, she's not a gamer. She's not like me. She's not like, you know, you, she doesn't know a lot about, excuse me, a lot about games and stuff like that. So she knows the, the base minimum of Sylvanas' lore, uh, which was for those of you who don't know, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure, you know, but if you don't, here's a quick run, here's a quick refresher. Arthas became a servant of the Lich King. He became a death knight. He picked up Frostmourne in Northrend and he started making his way to quell the loss because he wanted the sun well. Sylvanas and the Rangers, you know, attempted to stop him, and Sylvanas was being, you know, catty and, you know, a pain in his butt. So what does he do? He reaps her soul and turns her into a banshee queen. So my fiance was like, listen, Sylvanas is the way she is because of what Arthas did to her. And yes and no, because, you know, as you and I know, there's a lot of things in between Warcraft 3 and the rest, you know, BFA, there's a lot of stuff that happens between her, there's, you know, Wrath of the Lich King happens, you know, she attempts to kill herself, and then she makes a pact with Helia, like, there's a lot of stuff to unpack, but she said, after she became of her own free will, and became the Dark Lady, everything else that was at, well, that was up to that point was her own choice, I'd like to say that after, uh, Wrath, everything after Wrath, after the after her essentially realizing her fate, I think that's when she started to go off the deep end. And then this right here, this this one forsaken just realizing that she's just like, oh that cut, it, it's like glowing almost. It's not like it's bleeding; it's glowing. It's really cool. Um, and then this thing, this this line. I feel like, also, where did she get these dark Sith powers? I don't know. If you guys know, leave a comment, because I sure as shit don't. But the line for Azeroth, the last time I heard someone yell for Azeroth in, like, this kind of context was in the Legion cinematic, 
when Varian is on, I believe it's the Broken Shores or the Broken Isles. I don't know. Um, again, I'm very new to the game. I'm learning the lore as I go along. Um, and then Sarfang just gets just gets murdered, and it's like the worst thing. And then this sh this Nothing crap. Left. Look at this. She just flies off like a Dementor. So, uh, you know, this is really nice. I'm glad that they did the you know the hammering, the gate opening. You know, the old soldier comes home and he gets a warrior's, you know. The honor has returned to the horde. Anduin's pissed. Zappy Boy is angry. And Thrall is ready to crush Sylvanas' head between his mighty boots. And, ladies and gentlemen, that was the patch 8.25 War Campaign Cinematic. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It makes me want to just jump in and play and play fucking and play. You know, I don't have BFA, so I have to do a lot of things on my own, but it makes me just want to jump in and it makes me just want to play and grind out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and leave a comment on what you think is going to happen with patch 8 and 8.3 and the next expansion do you guys think sylvanas makes it out of this patch alive or do you think anduin or thrall or jaina or anyone really gives her a sword to the abdomen let me know that down below in the comments and if you liked this video and you want to see more of this stuff click the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you guys know when all the videos go live if you want to hang out with me live i stream every tuesday and thursday and every other friday over on twitch.tv slash phantom king x the link for that is down below in the description box thank you again for watching the video and i'll see you guys next time